Hello world. I'm making myself coffee. The kids are having some good morning hot chocolate today. And I have leftover um, chicken parmesan from the other day that I'm warming up for breakfast. There is um, a pile of dishes in the sink that need to be cleaned. And I guess Serenity and David made a deal that she has to wash the dishes and then he'll put them in the dishwasher and do all other kitchen tasks. So Serenity needs to do the dishes. Every time I look at them, I feel crazy and it makes me want to do them myself. So, here's to another day of studying. I don't know what she's watching out there. Clearly, it's interesting, though. She says, are you talking about me? So today, I moved my office to the kitchen. So I'm doing all my homework in the kitchen today. Or the dining room, I guess, actually, not the kitchen. Yeah. And besides torts, I got two more pages in constitutional law reading about the abandonment of Lochner. You ask me what Lochner is? I couldn't tell you. So this little puppy has Vaseline all over her face because she just got in a fight with a cat. Didn't you? Didn't you just get in a fight? Look at this. Look at these. Can you see these scratches on her face? No. Oh, and maybe I should put some more on. Her face is hurting too. So let's go see how the cat's doing. Sit. Good girl. Stay there. So the, there's a cat in the backyard, the cat, the dog, Jasmine chased the cat up the tree. Then the kids went to go get the cat. And they, while they were hoping one of them was gonna take the cat on the, the dog inside the house, the cat gets scared, jumps, jumps into the yard. And of course the dog catches the cat. Now the cat is outside and the kids are trying to see if they can help it. It was a pretty intense fight. There's no blood on the cat, although it might have internal injuries. So there's the kitty. It was down on the ground and I think it was trying to get its trunk and it so it he has been so good down the ground. So we had a study party at my house today. A couple of my friends came over and we sat around and studied for about three four hours. My brain is exhausted. Um, the cat is still in the tree and um, little David has been a bit of a handful. He um, is like just like annoying little picking stuff but it's only funny once and then we're done. So I'm about ready to send him to bed when it's seven. We'll see. We'll see how much longer he makes it. I'm cooking dinner right now. He requested um, pasta with shrimp, alfredo, and mushrooms, and artichokes. I prefer to just do mushroom or just do artichoke. Uh, we are going to have both. It's going to be a pretty full plate right there. We'll see. Sounds nice. We'll just see how it's done. Sunday night, this is what I do. I stop in my office and try to get a little bit of work done. I try. So today was pretty productive. I said my friends came over and I think I studied for like four hours nonstop, but I'd already studied, I don't even know how many hours before that, so it wears me out, but it's a lot, it's a lot of studying. I have two big um, tests this week, so it's a pretty big deal that I know what I am doing and I get it all done. I cried. Ah, sorry. This isn't interesting, is it? Watching me click buttons. I, I'm not very good at all, clearly. This is my office.
office for a little bit longer. Um, I guess I do actually have something to talk about. Like the thing, the interaction with Serenity Dad went well, and I'd like to take her over there every day, but I can't. Like I have to do homework and everything else that I have to do. So fitting in one more thing is next to impossible. And so I kind of feel guilty about that. And I could just, like, my first thought is, oh, I just asked for help for someone else. But um, it, it's not time for, like, it to be happening without me. Like, they need to earn trust first just so that we know she's okay and the such. Um, and, yeah, like, she didn't want to. The good news is they called today. So that's a, that's a good thing. They should call her every day. So I'm glad that I'm glad that, that happened. It shows it shows her that they, they care and that they're like you know, whatever, thinking of her. I really would like to take her over there. It's too bad they like it's not more con conveniently located to me or or I didn't have to study twenty four seven. So I feel kind of bad. I don't even know. I'm like, they wanted to know, you know, when she can come over. They didn't, I mean, inappropriate as usual. They didn't talk to me about it. They asked her. But, um, and I was just like, shit, I don't know. Like, Monday? No. Tuesdays? Yes, but it's Halloween. So, no, she's going to go trick or treat with her friends. Um, Wednesday and Thursday don't work for me. So then we're all the way at Friday. So... I would like to be able to bring her sooner, but I mean, I can try on Wednesday or Thursday night, but I'll just be, it'll be like 6.37 before we get there. It's a school night. I'm exhausted. So that is not ideal. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hopefully they don't get impatient with me. They probably will though.